Next, we're going to have Tanequa Mar Martin from our EOC department discuss a few things. Tanequa. Um, well, good afternoon. Well, evening, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Um, my name is Tanequa Martin. I'm with the Educational Opportunity Center here at Texas County College, um, better known as EOC. Um, we are one of eight federally funded TRIO programs. Um, and what we do is provide direct services to first-generation college students. So uh, what we do is really help you plan your educational future. So we help you navigate the enrollment process at the college, university, or vocational school of your choice. Um, and what that means is um, regardless of where you're wanting to go, what you're wanting to do, we help you every step of the way. Um, now, um, um, to qualify for EOC, you do have to be a U.S. citizen or permanent legal resident. Um, you can never have earned a bachelor's degree. So you can have a degree, you can have an associate's degree already, you can have a certificate, um, but you just can't have a bachelor's degree. The purpose of our program is really to get you through to that bachelor's degree. We primarily serve students 19 years or older, but we can also help you if you're a high school senior, graduating senior, and you're not served by our TRIO Talent Search Program. Um, and then most importantly, um, be a first generation college student or meet the income requirement. Um, now, I want to clarify that first-generation college student for you. Um, if your parent didn't receive a bachelor's degree, you are considered a first-generation college student. So even if they have a certificate, um, they have an associate's degree, um, if your mom or dad's an RN, but they never went on to get a bachelor's degree, you are considered a first-generation college student, and you can qualify for our program. All right. And so some of the services that we provide. So we provide direct assistance with your admissions and financial aid applications. Um, so what that means is we're not going to leave you uh, on your own to complete those. Uh, we will walk you through every step of the process. So even now, um, you know, being away from campus, not being able to be face to face with you all, uh, we'll walk you through it over the phone. We can connect with you on platforms like this and just through every step of the way um, so that any questions you have, you can have those immediately answered. Um, another thing is academic guidance. So if you're unsure um, what degree you want to take on, what major you want, what your career future plans look like, um, we can help you with that as well. Um, so we can provide you with ass assessments, um, get you additional information just on different career paths and all of that. Um, GED and secondary school guidance. So if there's any of you who don't have um, your high school diploma, you want to eventually go to college, we can help you get connected, get into the GED program, um, and then follow you along and help you transition out of that into college. Career planning. Um, so again, we can provide you with different assessments to help you um, just research different careers. But along with that, we also help you with resumes. We help you with job applications. Um, we try to get you connected with different employers here locally. Um, so every step of the way with that, um, even if you're looking to get a job while you're in school right now, this doesn't just have to be once you graduate and look to move on. Um, we can assist you with that. Um, transfer guidance. So if you're transferring in, coming into TC from somewhere else, um, or if you're preparing to transfer out, you're getting ready to graduate, you're going to a four-year, um, we can help you um, to ensure that what you're doing at TC is lining up with that four-year um, where you're looking to go. Um, and then assisting you with the transcript process and all of that as you get things transitioned into your new school. Um, also scholarship assistance. We um, collect, we have a database of different scholarships. We try to make sure that all of our EOC participants um, are constantly getting information about scholarships and things like that. Um, it's the Overcoming Barrier Scholarship. We give one of those out every semester, well, the fall and spring semester. Um, there's also various TRIO scholarships. The National Educational Opportunity Center Scholarship, that's another one by being a part of EOC that you have um, the opportunity to apply to. Um, so just various scholarships, single parent scholarships. The more we know about you, the more we know what you're trying to do, we can tailor um, you know, those searches to you, find the exact scholarships that are gonna apply to your major or your certain circumstance. Um, so we try our best to make sure we get you the funding that you need uh, to be able to get through school. Um, assistance with testing fees. So that's something else that we could potentially uh, provide you with help with. Um, you do have to fill out a few additional things, but if you qualify based on the income, uh, we might be able to assist you with your TSI fees, your TAPE fees. Um, if you're looking to take the ACT, 
um, there may be opportunities there. Financial literacy um, is another big part of our program. So not only getting you enrolled in college, but helping you improve your economic and financial literacy is a really big part of our program. Um, so what that means is we're going to help you get more information on budgeting, savings, credit, um, asset building, debt reduction, insurance, all of those things just improve your financial and economic literacy. One of the reasons most of you are probably looking to go back to school is to improve your job opportunities, which um, then proves your income opportunities. Um, well, one of the things when that happens, you want to make sure that you're able to make um, really informed decisions um, about your finances. And a big part of that is improving your financial and economic literacy. So we do that through workshops. Um, we provide those quite a bit, um, but we also do a lot of one on one um, help with you because everyone's situations are different. Um, so we're here to provide that financial and economic literacy as well. Um, and then we have workshops and more. So again, a lot of these things are provided to you through workshops, um, but we also work with you individually. We love to work one-on-one -on -one, um, with our participants, um, but there's also the big group workshops where it's a great opportunity to really interact and network with the other people. Um, and then I say, and more, because we do provide a lot more services um, than just this. Anything EOC can do to help you um, transition into college, make that experience um, what you want it to be, and then transition and move on out. We're here and willing to do whatever we can to help you with that. Um, I like to say if we can't provide it, then we're going to find someone that can. Um, so we're just here to help you every step of the way as you transition in. If you would like to apply for EOC services, um, you can go online to our website, www.texarkanacollege.edu forward slash EOC apply. You can complete our application there. We get it immediately and we reach out to you normally within 24 hours. Um, or you can reach out to us directly. Um, so a lot of different ways to contact us. Um, again, you can take a look at our website. You can call us. Um, you can email us at EOC at TexarkanaCollege.edu. Follow us and contact us on Facebook or YouTube. Um, or you can reach out to one of us individually. Um, but again, we're just kind of here to help you through every step of the process. So you've heard about, you know, admissions application, applying, getting your documents. We're here to help you with every bit of that if you need our assistance with that, um, as well as financial aid. So thank you.